Should a freelancer form an LLC or corporation? If you're a freelancer in the gig economy, you want to save as much money as possible. You already pay a significant amount of money for self-employment tax. Forming a business entity sounds like an unnecessary expense. Even if you're not a full-time freelancer and even if you don't consider yourself a full-time business owner, you should still consider forming an LLC for your freelance work or side business. There are several good reasons why forming an LLC can help protect yourself and your business income. Entity Types for Freelancers There is a vast difference between legal entities. Most solopreneurs form an LLC because an LLC is easier and less complicated than an S-Corp or C-Corporation corporations are best suited for businesses with multiple owners. When you're a freelancer picking up gigs on Craigslist, you probably don't need to form a corporation, but you should form an LLC. There are a handful of routes you can take to form an LLC, but LLC services like Zen Business and Busy have exploded in popularity over recent years. Now, I'm going to show you a screen recording of how to start an LLC using Zen Business and then Busy, and I'm also going to review their service. They are one of the best entity formation platforms out there in the market. After clicking the link in the description below, you will land on this page. Scroll down a little and below the business type section, you will see the start an LLC option. Click on the green button and your LLC formation process will begin. Then put your business name and the state you want to form your LLC at. After you are done, click on next. As you can see, it says my business name is available for registration in the state of California. Zen Business's own algorithm searched through California's Secretary of State's website within a few seconds and made sure no other business name is matching my own for trademark issues. As a result, you don't need to do this manually which saves you a lot of time. After you are done, click on next. As you can see, they have this cool question answer checkbox type interface that basically guides you through the whole LLC formation process and it's going to be like you're talking to someone and answering questions. Now, for this question, I'm going to answer lots and click on the next button. In the next question, it's asking whether you have employees or not. Since I do not have any employees, I will select the no option and click on next. In the next question, it's asking you whether your business address is different from your home address. Always answer this question by clicking the yes option because you don't want to give away your home address to potential clients, customers, agencies, and other service providers and get bombarded with tons of physical mail. Since you are making your home address public by registering your business with it, you want to avoid being inundated with an excessive number of people and physical mail. Zen Business has its own business mail address service which will cost you an extra $25 per year and I highly recommend you get that service so that you can keep your business address and home address separated. Then answer the next two questions according to your liking and click on next. Here, it's asking you what industry your business falls under. Just click on the blank option, type your industry name, and select the one you are planning to start. Now, it's asking me to save my progress. I will select save my progress and click on next. In this section, enter your legal first and last name, your email address and a valid phone number and click on next. After that, it will ask you whether you want to get their registered agent service or not. Getting a registered agent is a legal requirement in order to file an LLC in any state. So one way or another, you are gonna need one. Getting a registered agent from a different place will be costly and if you watch this video when you will fill out this form, you will fully understand the importance of a trustworthy registered agent as they will handle and receive all the documents on your behalf sent to you by the state so you can run your business hassle-free. Zen Business charges $199 per year for their registered agent service which is not a lot in my opinion and if you choose to get a registered agent through them, then they will only charge this fee after your LLC has been registered. So keep in mind about this fee as you will have to pay this later on after filing your LLC through them. Now, in the next section, it's asking you whether you need EIN and business document service. You can file your EIN for $0 from your state's website, but if you don't have any EIN and want to file for one hassle-free then you can select the $99 option and Zen Business will handle everything for you. Business document templates can be found online for free, that's why I didn't select it, but if you are in a hurry, then you can pick that service too. Now in the next section, Zen Business is asking you to choose a package. Remember registered agent service is not included with any of these packages. Personally, I recommend you to go for the pro plan which will cost you $199 per year plus a $5 California state filing fee which varies from state to state. I recommend this package because it includes an operating agreement and worry-free compliance service which you are going to need anyway when filing for an LLC. If you go for the starter plan which costs $0 plus the state fee, you will have to make all these documents yourself and file them manually which is quite a lot of headache. That's why I don't like the starter plan. At the top right corner, you will see your total due amount based on the package and service you selected. Since I picked the pro plan plus $99 EIN service, my total due amount is $204 excluding the $199 registered agent fee which I will have to pay later on. The premium plan's gonna cost you $299 per year and it includes everything from the starter and pro plan.
Plus, they are going to help you register your LLC faster and set up your business website, business email, and domain name. This is for serious people that want to take off running from the get-go. So if you want speed and you want everything done for you then this is probably going to be the best choice. If you scroll down below, you will see a bigger table where every package is being compared side by side. And, if you click below this table on the all package also include arrow, you will see 5 additional features that are available with every package. After filling this section correctly, it's gonna send you to the payment section and will show you your total due amount. So, just for $204 or less, you can file your own LLC today. Forming a legal entity can protect your freelancing gig from financial liability. Website development is a popular industry for freelancers, and it's also the most volatile in terms of potential for being sued by unhappy clients. Security flaws are another point of contention that cause clients to sue developers. As a website designer, it's your job to secure the project whether you do it yourself or hire someone else. For example, if you create a WordPress website, it takes effort to secure the installation. If you're a self-taught developer using one-click installation tools and you don't understand SALTS, SSL, and disabling PHP file execution, you won't be able to properly secure a WordPress site. If a client gets hacked, you can be held responsible for damages. Why is an LLC a good idea for freelancers? It lets you get a business bank account. When you form an LLC, you get an employer ID number, EIN, which is a tax ID number for your business. This makes your business a legal entity that is separate from your identity as an individual person, that means your business can get its own bank account and build business credit under the business's name. Keep track of your business income. Keep accurate records of your tax deductible business expenses. Pay for business expenses with your business credit card, this can help you save money on equipment, subscriptions, a new laptop, furniture for your home office or any other necessary purchases for your business. Build business credit, start by getting a business credit card, if you qualify, and work your way up to qualifying for a small business loan or business line of credit. Save time and money during tax season, if you have a business bank account, it's easier to make sure you are accurately reporting your business income and claiming all of the tax deductions that you qualify for, your accountant will thank you. It separates your business and personal finances. Forming an LLC makes it clear to your clients that any work you are doing for them is being done as a business, it lets you sign contracts under your business's name. In case there is a costly mistake, an accident causing injury or a lawsuit that occurs against your business as a result of your freelance work, your LLC can provide a corporate shield that protects your personal assets from a lawsuit. It can improve your professional image. 
No matter what kind of freelance work you're doing, whether it's designing websites or mowing lawns, having an LLC as a legal business entity for your business can help make you look more official and professional in the eyes of your clients. Signing a contract under your business's name, presenting a business card that has your LLC's name on it or creating a professional website for your freelance business that has the name and image of a real company on it. Being a sole proprietor might not be good enough. If you do not form an LLC, it is still possible to do freelance work and earn money as a sole proprietor. However, being a sole proprietor might not be the best fit for your overall business needs and financial goals. For example, as a sole proprietor, you cannot get a business bank account, any income earned will have to go into your personal bank account. You cannot build business credit, because you don't have an actual legal entity for your business. You cannot separate your business and personal finances in case of a lawsuit, because you have no corporate shield. When should a freelancer consider forming an LLC? If you want to make freelancing an ongoing part of your life, if you want to be able to claim a significant amount of business-related tax deductions on next year's tax return and if you want to become a serious business that can potentially earn a good full-time income from your freelance work, then forming an LLC for your freelance business might be a great start to a promising new career. Setting up a legal entity can protect your freelancing business from legal liability. Sometimes, the copyright holder sues the owner of the website, and the website owner sues the designer who created the website. Courts in the US and the UK consistently hold web designers responsible for infringement, since there is an implied duty to carry out the work without copying someone else's material. This should be a good enough reason to form an LLC immediately, regardless of the cost. Prevent financial devastation as a freelancer by forming an LLC. You can't prevent all lawsuits, but forming an LLC will protect you from financial devastation if you are sued. Your risk management strategy should begin with forming a legal entity, and then you can think about insurance policies and strengthening your contracts. Our full suite of products and services can help you get started. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope this will help you to form or start an LLC for freelancing.